All right, well, congratulations. I'm, I bet you're glad you took the flight and you made it here. Yeah, for sure. It's, this is incredible. It's a long flight, but it, it would have been super stupid not to come. Yeah. So tell us, did you shoot this film in black and white or color? We shot it in color. We actually shot it uh, digital. We made uh, ex ex extensive tests during film, and I think film would have been perfect. But unfortunately, we had only 24 days to shoot this film. And the labs, we don't have a lab anymore in our country, so it was more complicated with the time schedule to get the material back from the lab. And how was working with your director? It was wonderful. She's also uh, uh, trained as a cinematographer, so the collaboration was amazing. and. And we have uh, had a wonderful gaffer, Jani Lehtinen, who is with me here also tonight. And we, I say it's like a holy triangle. We worked a lot together and we watched a lot of black and white photographs and, and black and white films, classics. Some work from Roger Deakins, of course. The man who wasn't there was a big inspiration for us. And it was totally amazing to do a, with a director who is also a cinematographer. We speak the same language. And the film is so stunning. Were there any moments where you struggled with something that you had to problem solve and overcome? Uh, I think filmmaking is always problem solving, especially when, when the budget is quite moderate. But, but I love it about it also that uh, I would say that the underwater photography was, was very complicated because we don't have these uh, sound stages especially done for for underwater photography so that was uh, a bit complicated we had a young boy in the in quite cold water for a long time and, and after we finished that one I remember that the, with the director Pirjo Honkasalo we had few beers when we, we got that done that was the most complicated thing